The leaves of chinar trees have dried up and turned yellow on the ground. The autumn wind gradually paves way for the winter chill. It um, started as something that was more of an escape for us, escape from everything that we that we see personally and as as well as collectively, uh, and it still is. And through it, I particularly give vent to to my anger as well as the collective anger. See, whatever I uh, go through inside, uh, it definitely has to come out through something. You know, Gakhar comes or to naturally one that um, one that I like music. I love listening to music. I love playing music. I mean, it does not solve the problems, uh, but the very fact that we are articulating ourselves. Uh, is a reason enough to be hopeful about the future. The band has been busy this year. They have performed in front of different groups of fans in Kashmir and in Delhi. Sometimes they go to far off places in Kashmir and perform in front of people who have little or no access to such performances. Putra biyot suchuk khak ban, kine bagus hasatra it pak ban, bhul habi nish khada yasmang pana, ushwan se chavrav nor nam nag ban. It's mostly the lament and it's mostly about the loss, it's about the loss but the hope at the same time. It is natural and it is uh, perhaps oxymoron if one will not talk about loss and pain in Kashmir. Because we all have lost, you know, directly, indirectly and uh, we all have gone through that pain. So it comes naturally and um, we don't actually like to explain ourselves to what we are doing and uh, the difference between playing outside Kashmir and in Kashmir is that you know um, you just save a lot of time not explaining yourself to, to people you know you're playing in front of. Gakhir Republic is not only a musical journey there, there are other inspirations also uh, inspirations around you place where you live people uh, you're surrounded by you know um, you know, seeing their hardships, seeing your family's hardships, seeing your friends' hardships, your neighbors' hardships. We, we, we're not saying that we are different, but uh, we just want to keep things very simple, which is that we are together, something comes out, we try to complement that whatever comes from any one of us, 
retain the the original feeling you know that actually comes and you know try to polish it over the period of time and uh, not worry about anything else and uh, putting it out See, in Kashmiri, if you say gokar has different lot of meanings. So, if we just rub two clothes when you wash them, and that's called gokar too. If you have to just uh, uh, beat somebody, so we call it gokar. Okay. If you have to just uh, what do you call it? Show some anger towards somebody, so we say gokar these names. Asla put this gokar. So it's actually rub, or maybe when two things friction, like frick, fr what do you call it? I don't know. So friction is also a gokar. Rubbing is gokar, yes. When you close, I, I I told you that two clothes. When you rub two clothes while washing, so in Kashmiri we call it gokar. We are not the trained musicians, and you know we have. Uh, so it's more of what we do. It's more about feeling, and that that's what people like it. I it, it, these songs are so simple to play, and you know uh, there is nothing. I I don't think there is. anything we it it is yes it it is the feeling the connection which you know other people connect to it they feel that feeling and you know so that that keeps us motivated bollywood has a major impact in how new artists are also packaging their music Similarly Coke Studio has a very very big impact on artists when it comes to uh uh redoing traditional melodies but then there are some artists who are underground who are talking about the politics of the place they might not have a lot of views but their goal is not to have views they make music for the reason that they tell the story of this place The Kashmir Valley has been caught in a crushing conflict since the outbreak of insurgency in the 1990s. Tens of thousands have been killed in the raging violence that continues even today. The authorities have been since carrying out counter insurgency operations. Many times people in the region have claimed that it is the civilians mostly women and children who are facing the brunt of the ongoing war. For some in a situation like this music and art takes a back seat when people struggle for survival artists have fallen silent and are often wakened by the sound of gunfire sobs and wails their memories perforated by violence and war there is mostly silence in kashmir than there is music Most of the band songs are in Kashmiri. They are also particular about the words they chose. Mohsin joined the band a little later. When they released their uh, first song, that was Khaftan Bange. So when I saw that video, and uh, uh, I really liked it. I mean, it hit me. It was I got connected with it. Through my journey, I've seen a lot of things in Sri. Uh, I mean, Kashmir, from since childhood. so you know 
and then when we talk about these feelings how you feel how it has impacted you and all that and then when another person uh, you know talks about that you get that you know uh, feeling that yeah somebody else is feeling the way i'm feeling so with, with yes yes with gakhar i met a lot of uh, people who you know they talk about these things yeah you have written this you have played this so it connects me like this it connects me like this it gives a good feeling Khafsan Bange is very close to me and while singing I feel it so I feel most of the feelings which I get while performing or while singing I get it in this uh, Khafsan Bange Khafsan Bange is like the time of prayers which is the last prayer of the day so I say that Khafsan Bange it's on ghat sat gom at the time of uh, last prayer so the light is gone it's marcia if you heard have heard about marcia or we can call it nava yeah that's it it's morning morning we call it morning uh, something like that yes so people like gakhar republic give me immense hope and there are more artists who give me immense hope for trying to make original contemporary music which i feel in the coming years will take kashmiri music on a global platform and what i feel with their music that is contemporary kashmiri music because it's not it is they're trying to not be influenced uh, by bollywood as well as coke studio there is a song um, which starts khoftan bange i feel that song uh, reflects the pathos and uh, it reflects uh, the mood of the place not just that the tune the composition although they're using modern day uh, uh, instruments i feel if kashmiri contemporary music exists gakhar republic and others of the similar uh, sort are very close to it